So I'm psycho and I wanted to do five books in five days. I'm also indecisive because I wanted to do five summer romances in five days, but I got burnt out on romance. So on top of all of that, I'm a slow reader and I allegedly did not read each of these books in a day, but I still read five books in this video. So welcome to me reading five books in not really five days. It's day one. <laughs> I am currently reading Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I'm on page 132. So I'm like a little close to halfway through my book. The book is about Alexis. She like ran into a ditch <laughs> in this small town and this guy helps her like get out of the ditch. And, and that's kind of how these two characters meet. They have a one night stand together. And then all of a sudden he's like, I can't stop thinking about her. And she's like, I can't stop thinking about him. But we live in two different worlds. I'm from this big city, big family, big rich famous people. And he's with nobody, small town people. When, how well do you make this work? That's like how, like what it is. It's an age gap and she's like 10 years older than he is. And it's mentioned like a lot. <laughs> I think she's just really self-conscious that she is 10 years older than him because it is like getting constantly mentioned that she is 10 years older than him. And she's like, I can't believe I slept with him. He's like 28 years old and I'm 38. Like I just, you know, I did not have, why would I do that? And I'm like, girl, it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Y'all are consenting adults. So far, like I like this book, but I don't like love it. I, I like the writing, but I don't love how they got together. Like, I mean, I don't really care. Like, one night stand, do you think, whatever. But I feel like it's kind of instant, insta-lovey a little bit. Day one, part of your world. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Shut up. No. Anyways, let's get reading. time I've had to film and finish part of your world and I did I finished part of your world today technically I know it's day two technically it was good I definitely liked it it's not my favorite romance though I can appreciate it was a good book it was written really well but like the plot line as a whole just wasn't my favorite the way the characters ended up together just wasn't my favorite I think I would actually really like the second book about Brie's story I loved Brie she was one of my favorite characters well it's the second day now and I have to read a book today. And I was gonna do five like cute summer books. The thing is, I am so over romance books right now. I think I'm going to switch it up and do a thriller. I think I'm gonna read Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. So I think I'm gonna do this. I'm still gonna try and do five books in five days, or at least there'll be five books in this video. Let's go ahead and start this book. <laughs> deleted the footage of me talking about um then she was gone so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tell you how it was i liked it it was a good thriller this is probably one of the best thrillers i've read in the sense of feeling a very suspenseful and very eerie feeling also the ending for what it was was satisfactory but after I finished reading this, I just felt so icky. It's kind of upsetting, I think, to some extent because you get a lot of different point of views in this book and some of the point of views are just really icky and you make it just, I don't know, it just makes you feel uncomfortable. And this book definitely felt like a true crime documentary almost. It almost felt too real. It was so good though. It was a really good book. I really, I really did enjoy this, but I will give you like, if you're a little sensitive to like suspenseful thrillers or whatever, I don't know. It just made me feel a little icky, but it was really good. So that was that. And then also I started reading... Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. I've been wanting to pick this up for a while because it's a graphic novel and I'll just cut to that footage. I finished 
finished this whole thing in like 20 minutes and it was so cute i loved it so much also the illustrations in this like the comic book like illustrations are so stinking cute and aesthetic and like look at that that is just so adorable i really want to read the rest of the series now this was just so stinking cute that like took me like no time to do this is the same clip that i just came back to hi i'm still reading fourth wing i actually didn't tell you that i was reading fourth wing but i'm reading fourth wing and now you know and it's the fourth book oh that's kind of fun fourth wing and it's the fourth book ha 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 okay bye and i'm 50 percent of the way through now let me just say guys at the beginning of this book i was not loving it i really was not loving it i was like okay why does anybody like this book i don't know i just felt like it was not a fantasy book that i thought i was going to enjoy but as soon as i was thinking about dnfing it it got so good <laughs> like i was eating it up last night i think i stayed up to almost 3 a.m just reading this book the first complaint i have about this book it is way too long it, this book does not need to be as long as it is holy um, because it's feeling very repetitive. A lot of themes and the central like plot points that are happening are feeling very repetitive. I feel like the central plot that's been happening is Violet is getting told that she can't do it so people think she needs to be killed. People try to kill Violet. Someone comes and saves her everything's all good and then the cycle continues like literally that has happened so many times and i think that's my real complaint about this it feels like to some degree the plot hasn't really gone anywhere but with that being said i am still eating it up <laughs> me complaining that the same thing is happening over and over but me also continuously eating it up i haven't even really gotten into the romance bit really but I have been loving it. It's just so fun. That is what I think so far of Fourth Wing. I'm gonna keep reading it. I don't know if I'll finish it today because this book is so goddamn long and I know this is supposed to be five books in five days. You don't know. Maybe this is five books in five days. You don't know that. It's not been. I'll, I'll be honest. It has not been five. It's not been five books in five days. But I'm trying, okay? These books are just longer than I thought and I'm a slow reader. Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading Fourth Wing and I will update you later. Bye. Oh, can I just switch this? <gasps> what? What? Did that do anything? Whoa, it does. What the fuck? How do I do? How did I do that? Sorry, I'm just finding something out about my camera. Oh my god, that's like so much crisper. Holy. I've learned so many things now. Wow, sorry, I've like learned something about my camera. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna read. <laughs> Hi, I'm finished with fourth wing freaking finally. I know this is supposed to be five books in five days. This book took me so long to finish and not because it was bad. It was really good. I really liked it. If I have one complaint about this book, it is so long. It's like 630 pages. Why? I did enjoy it. And I liked all the stuff in it. But it was way too long. The ending? Oh my god, the ending was so good. I think I'm gonna read Red Rising by Pierce Brown next. I will see you then. <laughs> So I am 50% through Red Rising. I don't know guys. I don't know if I like this book really. I'm kind of not confused about the storyline, but I'm kind of low-key bored. I don't know. I don't really feel like one way or the other. I do think it's written well, but also I'm not obsessed with it. I'm not live life loving really. I don't think it's bad, but like I don't know. I'm not like connecting to it in any way. Being halfway into this, I'm like, okay, cool. What uh, What's going on? We're going to keep going. Maybe I'll eat my words. Maybe I won't. Red Wing, or not Red Wing, oh my god, no. I finally finished Red Rising. I don't know what I'm gonna rank it because 
after the 50% mark, it definitely got really good. It got really interesting. It did feel a little boring in some parts, but then I started like, I couldn't like stop thinking about it. <laughs> and I'm like, I just want to go finish this book. I just want to keep going. I want to keep seeing what's going to happen. It was good. I did like it. It's definitely like a book you have to let sink in, I think. And then it's a good like starter book for the series. I definitely like, I want to read the other books just to see what happens. Okay, well, those were my five books for five days, even though it was not five days at all, not even close. But hey, I'm still titling this video five books in five days because that's what I did. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!